folks. This is Rose from In Rose's Garden, and today we are going to check out our new Softlex Design Challenge Kit, Book Lovers. Now, Book Lovers, you can order individually a bead strand. Isn't this gorgeous? Now, I haven't checked. I don't know if they have any left, but I, I think this bead strand is just gorgeous. And I hope that the uh, kit is just as nice. Now, the bead strand, like I said, is an individual purchase. It costs, I believe, $11.95. So if you do want that, there is that option. Now, I will tell you, like I say, I don't know if they have any left. They are limited editions. And the kit itself, I believe, is $32 or $33.95. I'm not positive. I buy one every month. You'd think I'd know, right? But anyway, this is our kit called book lovers this year I mean this um, this time around so let's turn down and we will start looking it over shall we so anyway this is our design kit isn't that pretty and we had a um, I believe I'd already showed you this but this is the um, individual purchase of the um, bead strand now as I say it's an individual purchase it does not come with this the um, kit unless you order it. I believe it's $11.95. I do not know if they have any left, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bead strand. So here is our kit and we'll open that in just a second, but first we're going to look at our uh, mystery kit design kit um, card here, which is in every one of them. And this is the contact info www.softlexcompany.com and then there are two phone numbers toll free and us so on the other side of this is the rules for participating in the design kit challenge and number one is you buy the mystery kit when it goes on sale now that is the last wednesday of the month the new one comes on sale um, so it's on sale right now and it's usually either $32.95 or $33.95. And it will, um, Softlex will do their, um, their reveal at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So first is buy the kit. Second is join our Softlex Very Important Beading Studio group on Facebook. And three is, please do not reveal the contents of your mystery kit when, we, when you receive them. This way others can enjoy the surprise opening theirs too. Number four is, usually on the last Wednesday of the month, log into the Softlex Company Facebook page or YouTube channel and watch us unbox the kit and make a few designs. Or you can watch at your own convenience as all videos are permanently available. Like I say, it's at 3 p.m., uh, Pacific time, which would be four uh, mountain time, which is my time, uh, five central time, and six eastern. And now it's your turn. Post pictures of your design in the VIB group by the deadline posted, and every design you post is an entry to win our next available kit. You may use supplies from your own stash as long as you can see kit items in each design. Winner is chosen at random. And when they say after, um, you can put it in that day, it is the day, it is after they do the Softlex do the reveal. They don't want you to put it in prior to that. So let's get this kit open and we'll take a look and see what we've got here. So here's our pretty string that we will remove. Now, they actually once had a tassel contest to use the strings, and, and I actually won that one, which I was really pleased by. That was also a random drawing, though. So here's our tape off. And we have our list here of what goodies we have in our box. I haven't looked at that list because I didn't want, I wanted to be surprised. Glue, interesting. So let's see what we've got here. Now, this upper portion of the, wee, out they come. This upper portion of our list here is things that you can get 
um, at the Softlux company af after the time of the reveal. The lower ones, you cannot, that they just gathered them up for the kit. So let's see what we've got here. Number one is Softlex Antique Brass Color Medium Beading Wire. So there we go. There's our brass color medium beading wire. That's a pretty color. So we can set that aside. And by the way, this in and of itself is about eight or nine dollars. So next we have Softlex two by two sterling silver crimp tubes. Interesting that they gave us silver crimp tubes when the they gave us a metallic bronze and brass. Um, wire. There's usually 20 and it looks like there is 20 in there right now. Next is silver plated ear wires with a bale. Now it looks like we've got all kinds of things in this little package. So we will see what they've given us here as well as our little pieces. So here's our ear wires. There's usually two sets. Oops, don't lose our little beads here. Looks like one, two, three, and four. So there is uh, two sets of ear wires. And then they have a 12 millimeter silver plated lobster claw clasp right here. Now, I don't use these very often, primarily because I am getting older and I like a larger one. I usually use either a 15 or 16. This is the size I use all the time. This one is actually broken. So there is our Jesse James Custom Bead Mix right here. Looks like it's got some really pretty purples in there. We'll open that up later. Tierra Cast Antique Brass Lucky Cat Charms. Yep, those are two little brass luck lucky cat charms. Aren't those cute? Check glass stone yellow green with copper wash boho beads. Which one? Stone yellow with copper wash. Hmm. I was thinking they might mean these pretty um, flowers, but these, because I know these are on their website. But they also have all of these little guys in here. Though these are lintels. I'm fairly positive. Yes, they are. So um, it doesn't say lintels. So I'm going to say they probably mean these flowers. Even though it doesn't say flower, I'm pretty sure this is what they're meaning is these three flowers here. And then those are all the items that are available now at uh, at the Softlex company. Now we have check glass light gray pink rondelles. Pink rondelle. Oh, these guys. Ooh, those are pretty. I like those. Aren't those pretty? Put those aside right now. Then we have six millimeters check glass red hearts these little babies. Those are pretty. Check glass light and dark brown lintels. That would be these guys. That's what I was thinking. Oh, there's two different colors here it looks like. Wonder if they have them listed separate. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Looks like they're listed the same. So these are the lintels. I would say that the light ones are these clear ones and the darker ones, what they mean by dark ones are these ones that are solid. Next is 12 by 11 check glass amethyst simple cut beads. That would be these guys. Aren't these pretty? I like these. So. Very nice. Now a silver colored book charms. There's two of them. 
They're only one-sided, but they are cute. I may put those on hair sticks or maybe even a bookmark. Those are adorable. I know those came out of here, so we'll put them back in. I will probably separate these things out later so that they're not all together like that. Um, next is assorted bookmark findings. I'm sure this is what they mean by assorted bookmark charm. This is a really pretty one with a hummingbird on it and a flower. Now, I don't usually use these decorated ones because if you look, you can see how wide that is. And the ones I normally use are much thinner than this. Here, let me see if I've got one here. I think I do. One I made last week or week before last, I think, is still sitting here. If I can get it to come out. But see the difference in the width? So you got to remember that's going in your book. So that's why I don't normally use these style because they are quite a bit thicker. But um, it is a really pretty one. And I may just paint it. You never can tell because, hey, it's uh, it's got all these pretties that I could paint on it. So there's that. Then I have a wood teardrop frame. Wood teardrop frames. Now these are hooked together. Let's see if I can get them apart here. There's the wood. And an Elmer's glue stick, which is what this is. And then they've got what looks to be a tiny little book in here. And it even has blank pages and stuff. So that that's really cute. Now it won't won't make a pair of earrings because there's only one, but that's that's still really cute. So let's I'm going to Put our wood back together here and push them back in here and our little picture book can go along or our little blank book can go back in there too if I can get it to go in. There we go. So let's um, put all these back in the bag and we'll get our Jesse James beads out. So let's get our um, Jesse James bead pack out here. Ugh. Now, these bead packs and the bead strand, which is also made by Jesse James Beads, are made exclusively for Softlex's design kits. Um, you can't get them anywhere else, and once they're sold out, they don't ha there aren't any more to be had. Get these staples out of my... Now I keep this so I know exactly what they are when I'm getting um, my beads out. They'll go into a baggie or a little case of some kind. So let's drop these out on the mat and we'll take a look and see what we've got here. These are interesting. Though they are acrylic, they're still really shimmery and shiny, these pink beads. There's two of those. Looks like we've got Three big pink coin beads, though this one of mine is damaged. See, it's got a nick in it, but the other two look to be all right. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six little purple acrylic bellflowers. We've got one, two, three, four looks like either acrylic or glass pearls let's see if i can i'd say they're acrylic teardrop pearls in a pale bluish green color i think they're more green probably got a couple of purple um acrylic roses We have, looks like, four of these really pretty um, purple um, oval beads. 
one, two, three, four of these barrel beads with the which are a little champagne color with some shimmer on those. Then we have one, two, three, four. I was going to say coins, but these are flat. I mean, I can touch them. Most coins are rounded, but these are coins, of course. But look at the vitriol on those. Aren't those pretty? I just love those colors. So those are really pretty. Then we have one, two, oh, these are little rondelles. I thought they were bicones, but they're rondelles. About four, it looks like eight. Eight of these little purple rondelles. One stuck in my hand. <laughs> there we go. Then we have six little pink cubes. Oops, not you. Six little pink cubes. And then we're on to our metal. So as far as the metal is concerned, looks like we've got um, four big star spacers. Four regular crystal uh, spacers. Rondell spacers, and then two three-hole crystal spacers. I have some of these in my own stash. They're really pretty, but they're only one-sided, so you go put them in a bracelet, and they go with the one side down, so your crystals are facing upward, like so. Oh, come on, you. So, it's very pretty. So, that is our Jesse James bead kit. Aren't those pretty? I'm mostly thrilled by in here by these beautiful coins. These are really gorgeous. So let's get them put back in our bag in their bag. And I have to say, I think my favorite thing in this box is probably those little tiny pink rondelles. They are so cute. That would, let's see, we got our wire. Though this is a really pretty bookmark blank, but like I say, it is pretty thick. You gotta remember that when you put it in your books, that it is pretty thick. And but like I say, I think my favorite thing are, where'd you go little guys? There they are. Are these tiny little opal pink, opal purple, whatever the color was. What was it? Rondells. Oh, gray pink. Okay, that works. Gray pink. They look sort of gray and pink. So anyway, that is the our um, kit from Softlex Company. And isn't that a wonderful kit? Isn't it pretty? I am a big fan of pinks and purples, so that especially works for me. I actually wish they had put the, um, instead of these greenish yellow ones in here, I actually wish they had put the pur purple and pink ones, which I have used in other projects before. But since they didn't, that's the way it goes. Now, this coupon expires, so I can show it to you. It expired on Monday, so it is already expired. But every one of these kits comes with a $5 off an order of $30 with a coupon code. Um, if you open it prior to <laughs> when it expires. But anyway, it is already expired. But the... Uh, Instruction here is more of the design challenge instructions like we read previously. Join us on Softlex Company Facebook page or YouTube channel on June 26th at 3 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 4 p.m. Mountain and 5 p.m. Central. For the live design challenge kit reveal from June 26th. Now that's after they do their reveal, not in the morning of June 26th, but the afternoon, through July 29th, 
Post pictures of your designs made with this kit in our SoftFlex VIB Studio Facebook group with the hashtag book and enter to win a future kit. Winner is chosen at random. So this is a lovely kit. I hope you enjoyed opening it with me. Like I said, I think my favorite thing in here is I like these coin, beautiful um, coin beads that are in the Jesse James bead pack. And I love these gray ones here. As far as the, the wooden pieces are concerned, that little book is cute, but it doesn't really do it for me. I will probably um, find something that I want to glue onto the top of it, um, of the wood. And then I'll probably resin over the top of it so that it will stay safe. But uh, yeah, these are these are really pretty. I really like them. There we have it. That is our Softlex Design Challenge Kit Book Lovers for this next coming month. The new kit should be on sale today. It usually goes on sale around noon on the day reveal day. So uh, it should be on sale right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed opening this with me. Like I say, I think my favorite thing in the box is probably those little um, gray pink rondelles. Those tiny little guys. They are really cute. Um, though I've got to admit that the little lucky cats and the book charms, those are also cute. Um, and again, I would say that I would have wished with all the pinks and purples in here that they had used the pink and purple um, flowers as opposed to these yellowy ones. But hey, I don't get to cho choose what's going inside because I'm not whoever designs the kit. So I do have some of those uh, those particular colored uh, flowers if I choose to use them out of my own stash. Um, these are the ones I'm talking about. See how much better the I think these match really good with the um, with the rest of the kit things. Well, other than those little pips, or those aren't pips; those are uh, lintels. But um, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous set. And like I say, I hope you enjoyed making it with me. I may paint my bookmark. We'll have to see. <laughs> and maybe I'll send it to my mama. She likes to read too. So there we go. This has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.